Hello, this is IPSer, and welcome back to so Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Okay, so we are a merchant. Yeah, we're a merchant. And we are... Yeah. Through the course of this little sequence, we have to switch his appearance. Yeah, you talk to the big guys um, in the Magitech armor, and they will kill you. But I think there's one or two that won't kill you and just threaten you. Now, we got some new armor and... Well, I think we just weapon, actually. But we can buy the Regal Cutlass now. Um, so I'm gonna get two Regal Cutlass. And... That's it. Yeah, I, I got two of them. Gonna wanna get a... None of those. Mm. One plumbed hat for the road and... <coughs> yeah, th that that's good. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. No, no, wait. Actually, I don't want the gauntlet on him. I want goggles. Okay. I mean, not goggles, star pendants. That, that's what I meant to say. So you walk over here, and there's a green soldier. You can also go into a battle sequence with this guy. And like the merchants, you can steal their clothes. Except these guys are a little harder to steal from. <laughs> see, he couldn't steal. I'm just gonna fast forward and see if I can ever get his stuff. Nah, still his clothes, okay. These are a little too big, but they'll do. Huh? Did I read that right? Because they're supposed to rhyme. Yeah, I, I didn't see it. Okay, so I thought there was some treasure down here. I don't think there is, so let's go. Yeah, for some reason, you know how I've been having that frame pause for me, for not for you? Yeah, it's paused my progress down at the bottom. And, uh, uh, okay, never mind. Ne regard that, viewers. I, I got a little dumb there. So if you're wearing the green... Imperial soldier suit, soldier, soldier suit. You can go there, and the dude will move, and you can go on. So you want to go into the inn. One down here, go on over, and come in this door right here, and talk to this merchant. I'm gonna pound your face. Let's get his. Let's get his clothes. Stole plum hat and his clothes. A little top of the price was right. These are a little top. Price was just right. <laughs> I almost had it. I had the basic rhyming on. Okay, so if you come down these stairs right here and come up here, you see another merchant. Okay, let's let's teach him a lesson. So for beating him, we take his cider. Okay, I don't think there's any treasure in this room, but it never hurts to check. Nothing so far. In the pot? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think there's anything. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think if you talk to them, all they say is, I'm not buying anything. But if you talk to that one at the table with the green imperial suit on, he will give you a secret hint. Yeah, but unfortunately, you don't need that. I don't know the exact wording of the hint, but it talks about this mansion up here. 
and I know exactly what I'm doing, so yeah, just follow this. So, come back here as the merchant and talk to this little kid. I not someone down on purpose. Accident on purpose. <laughs> then you can come up here, and you remember this old crazy old man wanting cider? Well, now we have it for him. Oh! Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password. So, the mansion... We can get to it to go to the hideout. Oh, right. And he gives it. We have to give him the password. Now, I don't remember how to get the password. I just want him to do this. Guess which one in the middle of the state. You're an Imperial spy. You can't fool me, you insolent fool. Yeah, that is so not my thing. I apologize. That is H.C. Bailey's. I need to find something for me. Well, I guess I did have, um, nutters at that one little time, but... I easily forgot about that. <laughs> no nutters, I forgot. Okay, so let's see. You remember this room? Yeah, we were just now supposed to get that elixir in that clock. And remember how long ago I brought you in here and got that? When we first came here with just Log, Terra, and Edgar. We got it that long ago. So we are the champions, my friends. Okay, so none of these guys here jump you for and be mean to you, so let's just go. Save the one state. State one saved. So you come in here and you talk to this guy. <sighs> what have I done? I betrayed. Uh, now you realize you come near the bookshelf and you hear a wind noise. What's that? I don't know how they expect you to know this, but there's stairs behind the bookshelf. Yeah, so go down the stairs. But I guess the wind was supposed to help you there. Okay, so I never knew what this meant here. Change clothes, these are fine. I mean, I know it's basic. I mean, I know, I know what it means. Like, the change clothes and these are fine. Yeah, I know that. I'm not stupid, but... I don't really know if this makes a difference. So I'm going to save state here. And pick the one I never picked before. And see... Like, I always change clothes, but I'm going to see what happens if you stay dressed as a merchant. And see what happens. Yeah, I never bothered trying. Okay, so you come down here to the secret passage, and you get the hyperist there, and the secret hidden treasure chest. The running shoes, alright. So, yeah, the hyperist increases vigor. Yeah, vigor, I guess. I'm thinking of World of Warcraft's Vigor on the Rogues. <laughs> I have no idea what it does on here. If you if you can comment and tell me what Vigor does, that'd be nice. But I'm going to quit the Hyperist to lock. Not these running shoes. For, an, for a good reason coming up. Look, I didn't tell you to go up. What are you doing? Huh? I've seen her before. Really? Hey... It's going, hey, dude, you're punching her right across the face. Traitors. Oh no. Product of the genetic engineering, battle hardened Magitech Knights with a spirit as pure as snow. Celeste. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Celeste, yeah, she. <laughs> and Terra make up the best magic users in the game, in my opinion. I've never played through this game once without having either Celeste or Terra in my party. They're that good. I don't know if I'll use them this time. I'll probably use Celeste. I don't, I, I don't know. I have no idea of my future party yet. But I'm going to try to level up everybody. I'd hate to be in your shoes tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir. I could go days without sleeping. So it seems like we have an energetic dude here. Well, we better be careful. <laughs> Look at him laying on the pole up there. Oh, gotta be careful. That guy's dead awake. So before we go in there and bother that awake guy, let's go in here and find some secret treasure. Ooh, we've got a few clocks here for Alexers. Hey. Oh, some treasure. 15 GP. I mean, 50,000. And nothing! Empty! What kind of cruel sick joke? Ooh, another treasure. That was tricky. A 
thousand GP on right. Hey, another clock. Let's see if this one works. Hey! Man, I want my elixir, dang it! Wait, I think I missed a treasure. No, well, I'll get it next episode. Got a little safe point here. Okay, good for people not using emulators. Yeah. Oh, look. Sorry about that small delay there, guys. I accidentally stopped the narration. But look, uh, our guy that never sleeps is sleeping. Let's remove her chains, shall we not? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, by the way. Um, I got a little messed up. I accidentally stopped the narration. So you might hear me just all of a sudden stop in the middle of a word just then and hear me start talking again. I will try to make that never, ever happen again. Okay? Okay. I trust you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I'm grateful, but even as... What? You better be grateful. We risked our friggin' lives with this never sleeping dude here. You know, just head banging to the new Metallica song. Wait, what do you mean, wait? You make me wait, woman? I don't like to wait, woman. I want some now. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Okay, so now we got Celeste. Okay. So let's give her... Hmm. Which one? What should she get? Um, I'm gonna give her the... Give her the rune. Rune edge. Why not? And give her uh, some heavy... I do not want to give her the plumbed hat, though. I can just keep the hairband on and give her some leather armor. That won't kill anybody. Okay. So, now let's give her the running shoes, like I was planning, and give her some gauntlets. Right? Am I right? Is that what I was going to do? Okay. Yeah, okay. I got what I got on her, you sir. Put her in the back row. Now let's wake this guy up next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Zypiesser signing out. Have a nice day.